I'm Phoebe Boswell. I'm an interdisciplinary artist based in South East London. Welcome to this space of mine. I make work near Canada Water in Bow Arts Canada Street Studios. I moved here after I came back from a residency in Rome. Before that, I'd been at Somerset House and I found this place. It was warm <laughs> and I needed to do this uh, very intense project very quickly. A little bit soon after that, the pandemic happened and I've been here ever since. My studio uh, has grown since I moved in. I first had this one space and then when the person moved out next door, I extended. And because my work is very multi-layered, it's nice to have multiple spaces so that in the one side I focus on drawing, on the other side it's more of a kind of more holistic space where I can do animation, where I can research, where I can read. I try not to bring my laptop here, but I feel like the laptop is another space, like it's another work space. I try and do that at home um, so as to kind of differentiate between a place where I need to focus on drawing and on like the physical practice. And then I think also the walk to the studio is also part of the creative day. Oftentimes an extension of the studio is the place where I'm going to install the work. A lot of my decision making happens on site. I won't really know how to feel the space until I'm in it. So I do see the, the museum or the exhibition space as an extension of a process. If the work is intended to be small, it will be small from the beginning. If it's intended to be big, I like the challenge of that. A lot of my work involves other people, so whether that means they come into the studio space. That's more rare actually, but oftentimes it involves multiple conversations with people, uh, people sending me stuff uh, online or via WhatsApp. So there's a kind of uh, dialoguing that goes on. I think something that I couldn't live without is I need my animation desk, which was gifted to me uh, by Uli Meyer uh, when these dinosaur desks are going out of circulation because everyone works more digitally nowadays. I like to have books of black scholarship, I like getting buoyed by the words of black women. I mainly use 5B pencils and I mainly use Faber-Castell, but always 5B, sometimes 2, sometimes 8, but very rare. My first art teacher I always remember it, he was this Scottish man, Mr. Murray, and he said you have to respect your pencil and if he catches you not respecting your pencil he'll like bounce you around the block like you've never been bounced before. But he said it in this accent that I will never ever forget and whenever I'm disrespecting my pencils I think about that. <laughs>